everyone is saying that the future of batteries is solid state batteries. They're saying, just wait until this arrives. Just wait until that arrives. Just wait until this arrives. Then a magical thing will happen. But I've been saying for a long time now, I don't believe that is the future of batteries. The future of batteries is not some amazing solid state battery. Yes, they'll play a part. But for most people, the future of batteries will be what we have now, just made better. Constant incremental improvements a constantly increasing range and making batteries perform much better than they did 10 years ago. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back everyone else. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from well, Thailand, actually. I'm not usually here in Thailand. I'm usually in Melbourne. I'm here at the moment for uh, some stuff that's been going on. Many of you who have subscribed to the channel now for a while know all, all about that. Thank you so much for your support. Now, the naysayers say, well, if you buy an electric car in 10 years time, you'll have to get a new battery pack. It's crazy. You'd have to be insane to do that. Well, that isn't true. In fact, that is just an outright lie. The mainstream media keep on telling people that this is the case. If you buy an EV, well, your battery won't last very long. You made a bad decision. Well, Truth is now with lithium ion phosphate batteries and even with lithium ternary batteries, meaning the average battery pack in the average EV, they will last well over 500,000 kilometers or more than 300,000 miles. In fact, you've probably seen the videos and the stories of Tesla vehicles with not lithium ion phosphate, but with lithium ternary batteries that have done more than 500,000 kilometers and only seen around 20% battery degradation. So you can see that the existing technology we have now has already enabled us to have batteries that last a lot longer than the mainstream media are saying that they will. A lot longer. In other words, now, most cars that you get from China and Tesla's electric cars that are made in China and Tesla's cars made using lithium ion phosphate batteries will probably last you around a million kilometers or around 600,000 miles for that battery pack. But this new technological invention, which was actually just discovered by pure chance, is about to change those figures. In fact, you'll find the car will simply fall apart before the battery will be anywhere near the end of its life. Researchers at the TU Delft University, which is the university in the Netherlands, ranked by QS World University among the top 10 engineering and technology universities in the world have discovered something very simple that will double the life of a battery. In fact, it's so simple, it's just ridiculous. Now I wanna point out, not many people have heard of this university, but it is a very prestigious university in the Netherlands. In fact, it was started in 1841. And researchers there say, that this new technology yields enormous benefits for almost no cost. The researchers accidentally discovered certain salts that enormously slow down the wear of batteries. In fact, it makes the wear of batteries go down by 50%, meaning the batteries in theory will last nearly twice as long. And this is amazing news, not only for things like smartphones, of course, it's really, really irritating when your smartphone battery dies. You haven't had the phone all that long, you've had it for a few years, and you're thinking, why is this battery dying so quickly? Of course, no thermal management in your battery, and therefore it dies quickly. Electric cars have thermal management, the batteries last a lot longer. But add these salts to the battery, they say that the battery will last twice as long. Damage occurs in certain parts of the battery during charging and discharge of the battery. Now this damage caused the battery, researchers say, is automatically repaired by tiny little bits of lithium. But over time, those bits of lithium get used up and therefore the battery can store less energy. Sounds very simple, doesn't it? It's not quite that simple, but in a way it is. By adding five specific lithium salts to the battery's chemical composition, the wear and tear of the battery is halved. As a result, the battery uses less lithium to repair itself and its energy storage capacity decreases much less quickly. 
the TU Delft researchers have published their discovery in the scientific journal Nature. They hope battery manufacturers will soon adopt the discovery. Now, they don't need to hope. If this is true, and it appears that it is, absolutely battery manufacturers will adopt this very, very quickly. Now, the other thing is to keep in mind, all the naysayers say there's not enough lithium. Toyota says there's only enough lithium for every car in the world to have a battery about this size, literally this size. They say that basically batteries can't work because there's not enough lithium on the planet. But of course, that's ridiculous. The reason being, the two biggest battery companies in the world, BYD and CATL, both make batteries now using sodium, sodium ion. And in fact, there's a number of different battery chemistries using all different kinds of battery, using all different kinds of materials to make batteries. Lithium is by far not the only substance we use in batteries now. For example, there's even wood batteries now. However, the thing to keep in mind here is, as a result of this technology, we now need less lithium in batteries. What do I mean by that? Well, we can have hybrid batteries using sodium and lithium. We can have batteries now using more manganese, therefore we need less, significantly less lithium in the battery. And as a result of this invention, even less lithium again is needed. Like I said, the changes to batteries aren't necessarily the big ones that smack us in the face, like solid state magic. For example, Toyota has said for years now they would have a solid state battery in every single one of their electric cars. They said in 2014, 2015, 2016, and 2017 that in 2020 they would have solid state battery powered cars on the roads everywhere. They said every single one of their EVs would use one by 2020 or 2021. But they are, but now they've stopped talking about them. Maybe solid state batteries are not the answer. Maybe the answer is already here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.